My name is Ileana and I'm super excited to give you a haul of my recent Tokyo Disney trip. I just got back from Tokyo Disney maybe like four weeks ago. School has started and I'm just not having time to like settle down and make this video. If you haven't yet watched any of my Tokyo Disney vlogs on my channel, make sure to go ahead and do that. A giant bag sitting on my bed right now, ready to be opened and kind of go through everything that I bought. Now granted, I have not opened this bag since I got home from Tokyo. So some of these things might be a surprise, but let's go through them. Tokyo Disney is super well known for its popcorn. That's kind of like the snack of choice. A bucket of popcorn is like $2.26. And they have black pepper, curry, honey, white chocolate matcha, strawberry cheesecake, all of these different flavors you can try. The most cost effective way to do this is to for sure get a popcorn bucket. So I bought one. Being a travel girly, I feel like It's a Small World is the ride that speaks to me. So this is the one I have. It currently has a bunch of Japanese Kit Kats in there. But I did buy this popcorn bucket. Super cute. Tons of room for popcorn. The strap was super cute and comfortable. It looks just like the ride. And surprise, it has little characters in there. This is supposed to spin. Does it spin? Oh, there we go. There were a ton of other options, but this one just spoke to me. I had to get it. This is the current bag I have everything in. I did buy a bag at Fantasy Springs. I'm gonna post that here. I just don't know where it is. I have no idea where I put it because I know that's what the bag I used to bring stuff home. So like, where is it? I don't know why I would use that bag yet. I just really needed it for travel purposes. Anyway, here's the haul. This stuff is so random. <laughs> okay. First off, so they have a bunch of like random house things there. And so I bought a lot of face towels. They came in a pack of four. I don't know where the fourth one is because I must have opened this, but they were all like wizard Mickey themed. So here's the first one. Oh, look at this at the bottom. It says the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, super cute. I don't know. I just feel like they were really cute. Sorcerer Mickey, just super cute. I also bought this one while I was there. It's frozen. It has like Anna and Elsa on it and the ride theme back in Disney Springs. I specifically bought this one because I was sweating and I needed to like have something to cool myself down. So every now and then I'd go to the bathroom and put cold water on this and then like wrap it around my neck. That was super helpful. Then bought this little mirror. So it's a little Tokyo Disneyland. It looks like a postcard, it's super cute. It's a small world, the castle, Minnie and Mickey, kind of like the front area. And then the other side is Tokyo Disney Sea themes, the giant volcano and the 20,000 leaves on the sea and all the little characters there. I haven't opened it yet. It was 1,900 yen. I tried to only buy things that I would reuse in like real life. Having a travel mirror made sense to me. Oh wait, there's like a little detail on the mirror itself. You're seeing my whole setup. Inception. But look at that detail on there. Love that. And it'll like stand. So this is gonna be my travel mirror. This is actually, this was a good buy. Take that, Jazzy. She was making fun of me because I was buying all this stuff, but like, come on. I feel like this is practical. Next thing that's like half impractical, half practical. <laughs> you know those girls who like put headbands on and they're like, get ready with me while I, okay, well I bought some of those get ready with me headbands. Should I put them on? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I feel like there will be a theme day at school where I need to wear this. So it's the Aliens from Toy Story. 10 out of 10. The second one I'm not gonna open quite yet, but it has a little bow. And these are all like the Mickey balloons that you can buy at Tokyo Disneyland. It's a bow and then it's like a towel headband. These were 1700 yen. Don't remember buying these, but I love them. These are little Toy Story socks. You got the little aliens on them. These were 550 yen. There was then a section in Fantasy Springs where you can only go into if you have a Fantasy Springs ticket. Didn't get a whole lot in there, but I really love the box of this chocolate. They're just on an Elsa. And like, it's just really pretty and classic. I'm not gonna open it. There are chocolates inside. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here. But it's just, it was too pretty for me to not buy. I'm never gonna eat them. It's just a pretty box. 1,200 yen. I'm eating out of it currently, but I did buy this ramen bowl, this Mickey ramen bowl. It is so dang cute. 2,200 yen, but I just, I needed it. It made sense, okay? I also collect mugs. So if you're someone out there that has a cool display on how to display mugs, let me know because I got nothing so far. They're just kind of sitting on a shelf. I bought this Tokyo Disney mug. So if you look up close, it kind of has the map of both Disney Sea. Well, it's starting with Disneyland. Oh. Disneyland and Disney Sea. I don't think I'll ever use this for drinking. Just kind of like a display or 
I don't know. It's gonna go somewhere. Hold pens or something. Next, let's do keychains. So keychains are huge in Japan. Like that's just the souvenir that everyone tends to buy. I even saw a lady with a bag full of keychains. I think they're all Daisy keychains. I don't remember, but I'm gonna put that here. And that bag was insane. So I did buy these two little keychains to use as ear holders. This is just like a classic Disney letter D. And this is, it's a small world themed, which I have, it's a small world ears that I wore on my trip. So I feel like these are just, again, it's a small world, it's kind of my ride. For each 1400 yen. And it kind of unclips and then you just like put the ears in there and then clip it to your bag and then you don't have to wear them all day or stuff them in your bag. The next keychains I got were at the Disney flagship store. This is in Shinjuku. These are Tokyo Disney Japan and they're in there like traditional clothing and a little mini mickey keychain i don't know where i'm gonna put these or where i'm gonna wear them or how this is gonna work but i had to buy them i just think they were so beautiful they're kind of expensive so don't at me these were each 2800 yen yeah sorry it just they had to happen now this is where you could say i went a little overboard because i'm a disney ear girl like i'll wear a normal outfit and just plop on a pair of ears i don't really like disney disney dress up Okay, maybe I do. I just think ears are my accessory of choice. So here are all my ears that I bought. Ears in the US are min $35 up to like, you know, they're like hundreds of dollars of ones that are designer brand. Well, these were all $13. So I bought these. Don't know that I love the puffy bow. So I'm not taking the tag off them yet because I can sell them if I really wanted to. I love a like teal velvet. I just don't love the bow. Maybe I can make my own bow. I don't know. I just don't love this super puffy bow. It's like, it's fine. I just, it's a little much. I mean, Disney ears are a little much, but don't at me. I'm a big fan of like just solid ones that I can pair with every outfit. So I got lime green solids. These would be super cute to wear as like a Tinkerbell or a Peter Pan. Or... I love these teal ones. I actually wore these while I was there. So the tag is off. Purple ones. This bow is kind of funky. I don't know that I love it again. It's like chiffon. Is that what that's called? I do love the purple glitter. The purple glitter is a win. So these are like the famous Pixar ball. The bow on the front, you can't really tell, but if you flip them over, and I guess I could wear them both ways, right? Like I really don't take the bow off. I considered taking the bow off and then like attaching Velcro so that I can take it on and off if I want. I just thought these are sick. So that's the ears. The last purchase was an impulse buy because I didn't like need it. I don't need it. I just thought it was so beautiful. And like subtle, <laughs> Disney subtle. Here it is. It's just a little handbag. I think it's so cute. And only the real ones know that this is tangled. It's like the little sun. It's just so beautiful. And this was 6,300 yen. I could not pass this up. It's so cute. Okay. So yeah, that is my Disney haul from this time at Tokyo Disney. I didn't do as much damage as I thought I would. I also haven't done the math yet. So when I edit this video, I'm gonna put the total that I spent on those items here. Hey, but I work a lot of jobs and I work hard for my money. If that's what you choose to spend your money on, so be it. If you all liked this video or any of the others on my channel, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate that you're here watching and it helps me make more videos for you. I also post a lot of Tokyo Disney and other Disney content on my other channels like Instagram and TikTok. So make sure to follow me there. I will see you next time. Bye.